Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the Sankey bar chart. This is a really interesting visual. I think you'll probably like it. If you're looking at showing a flowing version of your data, so if you have kind of a natural stage version of your data where you go from one stage to the next stage to the next, then this is a great visual for being able to represent that into a bar chart of some kind. What this visual does is it interconnects the bar charts. You can kind of see the gray area in the middle where between the bar chart area where you see a gray interconnection. Uh, where you can see a comparison between the different stages or categories of values that you have. It also allows you to show you a positive or negative flow from one stage to the next. So it takes the, di the difference between each of the stages and represents it on the bottom. So the values that you see on the bottom are actually the difference between the stages on the top. So that's kind of an interesting way of looking at the data. You'll also see there's a percent difference there in the beginning, in the bottom and the top as well. Uh, all right, so you can see who uh, developed this one. This is developed by Brad Starfield, who actually developed quite a few visuals that we're going to show you here coming up. But this one is a really interesting one, so let's go ahead and get into showing you exactly where to go download it, how to use it, and interact with it. All right, so our first stop is to go to the Visuals Gallery, which you can find by going to visuals.powerbi.com, and that'll redirect you to the site that we're looking at here now. And we're going to be working our way down inside this very large gallery of all the visuals that we've talked about, quite a few of these now at this point, until you find the Sinky Bar Chart, the one that's visualized right here inside the middle of my screen as it is right now. So I'm going to select the Sinky bar chart, and we're going to go ahead and download the visual and download it somewhere locally that you can easily find. Uh, you can also download the sample that Brad's created. It's a pretty good sample, at least, as it shows you kind of website sessions, the same screenshot that I showed you earlier. But in our case, we're going to go ahead and download the visual, and then we're going to be looking at a different scenario. So go ahead and download this, and then once you've downloaded it and stored it somewhere that you can easily find, you can go back over to the Power BI desktop. So I'm going to flip over to the Power BI desktop now. All right, so in the Power BI desktop, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually looking at some sales opportunity data. So think about your sales team maybe that you work with. And your sales team has all of these different prospects that they're reaching out to. And so they're spending a lot of time prospecting. And you want to be able to visualize the stages of the advancement of those different opportunities. So I want to see whenever someone actually initiates a prospect, and then once they have a prospect and get them to a demo, and then once they get to a demo to send them a signed quote, and then once they actually win the opportunity, I want to be able to visualize that in some way. And the Sinky bar chart is a great way to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by going ahead to bring in our sales opportunity data. We can do that by going up to the Get Data section on the Power BI desktop. And we're going to be pulling in some data from Excel. So we can go ahead and select Excel here. And we're going to be using the uh, sales opportunity file that you'll be able to find below in the link, or if you've downloaded the class file separately, you can do that as well. But we're going to be using the sales opportunity Excel workbook, and then I'll hit op open here. All right, once you hit open, you'll go ahead and select the opportunity stage spreadsheet that's inside of that workbook. And you can see exactly what our data looks like here. You can see that it starts off with all of the prospects that we have and everyone that we're prospecting to. And then we also have the end result of those that had no response at all. And basically what the Sankey bar chart is going to do is it's going to take the difference between the different stages and represent them in the end portion that we see here. The end stage is what it's going to represent the difference between the two. So I think this will make sense once you see it visualized. Let's go ahead and hit load to bring this data into our data model. And it's actually quite a simple visual to configure. So this will be a short video here. What we're going to do is now go ahead and bring in the Sinky bar chart that we downloaded previously. You can do that by going over to the visualization pane here on the right hand side. Hit the little ellipsis here to import from a file and select to import a custom visual. We're then going to go ahead and hit import here. And we're going to go find the e file that we downloaded earlier in the earlier part of the video, which I have downloaded right here underneath Sinky bar chart and hit open. All right, so we now imported that data successfully or that uh, visual successfully, so I'll hit OK. You'll now see that data visualization now imported and available inside the visualization pane. But before we do it, before we use it, I should say, let's actually take a look at what the data looks like. So I'm going to bring in a regular old table here and bring in my start, end, and number of customers values here. And we'll bring this into a table and I'll make this a little larger so you can see it, just so you have a good idea of what this data looks like before we go in to bring in the Sinky bar chart. Because I think this will really help you understand what it's doing whenever we do bring in the Sinky bar chart. I'm going to place this a little bit lower in the bottom right, bottom left, I mean. And then let's go ahead and bring in the Sinky bar chart here. I'll make this quite a bit larger. All right, and then let's bring in the data. So we're going to start by bringing in the start, which you can see there's three different fields that you can populate here. There's an enter point, there's an exit point, and then there's the value that you actually want to visualize here. In our case, we're going to enter with our starting value. We're going to exit with our end value. 
and then the number of customers will be the values here that we're trying to measure. So I'm going to select uh, customers as the number of customers we want to see an evaluation of. All right, so here's what you get from the Sankey bar chart. We're able to see the total number of prospects, that's 100% of the people that we're looking at, shown in the top left. So this is our total number of prospects that correlates with the value that we have here. Don't so much worry about the sort order here. This is actually bringing in the sort order based on how it was shown in the data, whereas the table is sorting it by the start column here. Let's actually sort it appropriately just so you can get a good view of what this, this should be showing here. There we go, that's a little better. So we start off with prospects. We have uh, 14,654 prospects, which is represented here. So then where does this 9,231 number come from? Well, it comes from the difference between these two values here, because what we're seeing here is we have, this is our total number of prospects. It's 100% of our user base, or really our customer base. We got 5,423 of them into a demo scheduled, which means the difference between those two was that there was no response. So it's 9,231, 9, which is the difference between those two, did not respond at all, which makes sense, right? If they didn't get into a scheduled demo, that means they didn't respond at all. All right, let's take this a step further. Let's say from demo scheduled to actually sending them a signed quote or waiting approval, we had 5,423, subtract 1,465, gets you the not interested party, which is 3,958. So same thing, you can kind of watch this flow as it goes, continues on. And you can see here that you have uh, all showing these are a downward trend, which makes sense if you're looking at a flow of data here. But we ended up with a total of five, 753 that we actually won. We won 753 of our total deals, which and you can compare here to the total number of prospects that we started off with. So it's really kind of a neat visual to be able to look at. It's always helpful to kind of have a visual representation of the data in a table here as well. That makes it a little easier for you to be able to understand what the Sinky bar chart is doing. Let me make this a little smaller now so we can fit it next to it right here. But it's a great way to be able to show a flow of data, a flow of different stages of data that you may have. Now, one thing to note about the Sinky bar chart, there's not a whole lot of customizations you can do to it. For example, if you select the Sinky bar chart and go over to the format paintbrush, you'll see here that there's really not a whole lot you can do outside of the traditional stuff that's always been available inside of the Power BI desktop. You can add a title, for example, you can see the title shows up right here. Nothing special there that's in every one of the visuals. You can also add a background if you turn this on. So you can add a background color, just basically a background color in the, behind the visual itself. You may want to do something like that if you're trying to enhance it a little bit. But outside of that, it's pretty much very similar uh, and, and really not a whole lot of customizations you can do to it. What you see is what you get as far as the visual, but the data representation is all about what you provide to it. So the better data you provide to it, the better kind of visual you're going to get out of it. All right, so that's a quick one here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module.